Alright, what's up guys? Welcome to episode 7? I'm gonna say 7 or 8. Hey, to another episode of Resident Evil Zero. In the last episode, we've managed to kill the Centurion, a boss, and we got the key, which we've used to unlock a couple of fire doors. And we've light the way to one, and we got the Book of Mormon. I mean, the Book of Good. Yeah, again, every time I think about the Book of Good, I'm thinking about that episode of South Park where they do singing of the Book of Mormon. I don't know if anybody remembers growing up watching that episode, or there was a musical I remember called the Book of Mormon. I did not see it, now I want to watch it, but this was back at the time when South Park was great. Today's South Park, meh, not get too niche. Like they're running out of ideas like The Simpsons is running out of ideas. Same with Family Guy. But regardless, now we got these doors open. The doors that has a clock on top. And of course we got some Zambis. Dang it. No decapitation. Uh, two more. Juicy. Juicy. Two decapitations. Uh, sad, but I guess it is what it is. We got a note here. A verse of poetry. The moon bows to the earth. The earth swears loyalty to the sun. And the great law of the sun governs all things. This itself is the keystone. The pointer to glory. All our hands cannot open the door to the heaven. Alrighty then. The shelf contains neatly filled documents. There doesn't seem to be anything of interest. Ooh, shotgun shells. Yes, please. Though, of course, I need to be sure that I have plenty of shotgun shells for a later part of the game. So now we have microphone B. Outside the window, you see a dense, pitch, pitch dark expanse of trees. It's an empty picture frame. The picture seems to have been taken out. It looks like the picture. There is something in the picture, though. Insert this film into a projector to view its contents. Hey there, Billy. How you doing? Mm, let's see. This way. Roger. I'll go alone. Okay. Actually, yeah, I need Billy to go alone. Now we could go ahead and not the grenades. Thank you. Microfilm A. Remember this door that I told you not to go to? Now we can go. Anyways. I'm gonna cheat a little bit. There's the door. But I'm not going in. Once I go here... Hey, it's one of these mimicry map Marcuses. Ah, get off, get off, get off, get off. So, yeah, a mimicry Marcus. When you, when you saw me do that, that spawns this guy. Now again, remember the Molotov Cocktails are useful for specific enemies? It is useful for those guys. Mimicry Marcuses are allergic to these things. Um, in hard mode, 
they take more than three Molotov cocktails. Well, in normal, they do take three. I think it's one or two in easy mode. Well, then again, I'm not playing in easy mode. It's mostly for though for anyone that wants to take a look at this game and they want to take it the easy route. No judgment to those that want to take this game easy mode. So, actually, I should. Yeah, I'm gonna drop the Molotov cocktails. Don't need them right now. The thing with the Molotov cocktails, though, they are kind of limited. As of course, you need to be sure to find as much of the bottle, empty bottles, and gasoline tanks. And for some reason, now these guys show up. I think that happens when you kill the Le the Marcus mimicry. But regardless, there we are. Come on. Oh, you are dead. It didn't give off a death cry like, Ooh, like that or something. Oh well. Well, we got some ammo. How many do I have now? Okay, 46. Not too bad. Then again, I am getting a lot more because this is normal. If it was hard mode, you get less ammo. And I could just tell you now, during the kitchen and normal, that handgun ammo was there. In hard mode, it's not. Yeah, I'll explain a little more on the hard mode in a more detailed manner once we get done with this playthrough. But just a heads up for those who plan to start this game in hard mode. The projector isn't displaying anything at the moment. Here we have a microfilm projector. If you add some microfilm, you can view its contents on the screen. Well, we have two of them. We can use both of them. If you want, like I'm doing right now, just gonna take a picture. For various reasons. There's something written on top of the picture. Of the seats. Numbers and letters. And now we get an MO disc. Microfilm image. An image inserting from overlaying microfilms A and B. Numbers appear on the seats of the conference room. And also A to F. They also show the letters. Just in the nick of time, because I've had a lot on me. The faucet is completely dry. It's probably broken. This urinal is unspeakably filthy. It must have been, uh, not have been clean in ages. Of course, that would switch my OCD. And as another one of my part-time jobs is janitorial, I would have cleaned those immediately. Bathroom stalls. Uh, yeah, I do have enough room. Go ahead and pick up the gas tank. And pick up a green herb. Hi there. Goodbye.
And actually, we don't need to be in this hallway anymore. You could just ignore everything else. We're done with it entirely. And again, the better way to get rid of those leeches that are latching on you is just getting out of the room. Much more easier said than done. This way. Okay. Okay, Rebecca, I need you with me. Go and leave one of the greeners behind. Everyone is looking healthy. Healthy as a horse. Go ahead and pick up the gas tank again to combine the ones that we have. Now we have nine. So now we could go ahead and use the ammo disc, which let me go ahead and examine. The label reads, Security System version 1.02. You know, it's kind of funny, just seeing these makes me think of back when I was younger. Now, even to ask, do they sell these things anymore? Because you don't see these things anymore. At these days, we now have these SD cards. Back in my day, we had these giant fat back computers, and we used floppy disk. So, <laughs> yeah, this is just me sounding like an old man. I'm an old man, and I remember back in my day, we had these giant ones. <laughs> we used floppy disks, not SD cards or USB cables or stuff like that. <laughs> uh, technology is evolving indeed, but they get more expensive every year now and then. It's probably used to activate some sort of security system. Go ahead and use it. Reading system. Access complete. Release system activated. Please enter the passcode. 0A. Now, if you're like me, you could go ahead and view the map, view the picture, and just in case you want to know, these passcodes are randomized. It's not the same each playthrough, there's a- it's always different in every playthrough that you do. So, you know, say 4D or, or uh, uh, 7F. It's all random. So again, for now, we have 0A. There's no input device nearby. Why, the input devices are these desks. Zero is here. I'll go alone. Okay. And we need Rebecca to be at A. Right here. If I... Yep. And it's another one of those co-op puzzles you need to work on. Then switch to Rebecca. And... Opened. Now there are three doors. Three doors are now unlocked. Come on. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and exchange the handgun. That didn't equip it. I'll go check over there. Okay. Eh, why not? Let's go ahead and check out the middle bridge, because we might go ahead and call it in a bit. I think we've made pretty good timing on that. Actually, no. Let's go ahead and check out this door. There's a door that's went to the area where the Centurion then was, where you fought it. Which, speaking of, with those doors now open, now this room is filled with creepers. You can 100% ignore these guys. 
you just have to be sure to fight the camera and make your way to this door. So in here, we got some handgun ammo. The door is locked, but there doesn't seem to be a keyhole anywhere. There is a... seems to be a telescope here. There's a message carved into the control panel. The three fundamental principles of the Umbrella Corporation. Hmm. For those who weren't curious, you could view the menu here. Uh, yep, there we go. Discipline. Obedience. Unity. And yet, for those who are curious, now this is another puzzle. Time for more fetch quest. Fetch quests, Parth, fetch quests. The biggest goal for Resident Evil and Silent Hill games. Miss me. Oh yeah, the most hilarious part. Crawlers can't come downstairs. Look at them. They can't. <laughs> they can't do anything. They're stuck. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love enemy AI manipulation. <laughs> That's just hilarious. <laughs> I love it. I love it a lot. So, let's explore this door. Hey, we're outside. Sorry, Billy. Every man for himself. See you next time. Oh. The bridge has collapsed in the middle beyond on the perceptance. You see nothing but pitch darkness. Well, and also, there's something on top. There's something there, but you can't see it well from here. We can't even reach it, too. It's a solidly built wire mesh. Despite its age, it shows no signs of decay. Well, rust is the weight of age. There's an elevator here, but... There's no response. Looks like it's not getting any power. We need to find a battery for it. Well, shoot. Eh? Don't that be dull. Well, we're stuck here. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. It ha- it is what it is. So yeah, as it's more often turns out, but we're still missing one part of that black statue. There you are, Billy. And so that's where we're gonna call this an episode. It's a pretty nice one. We've done a bit more exploration too. Viewing some content too, as I am, am building content here. <laughs> so I hope you've all been enjoying this series at the moment. So yeah, I'm gonna stop the episode here. In the next episode, we're, we got one door left in which those knights block the way. So we're gonna go through that door. So, that's it for this. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Resident Evil Zero. Take care everybody, see you next time. So actually, we're not done with that episode. Forget I said that. And if you just saw that little clip there, heard of me saying see you next episode, 
I looked up and it's 20 minutes. We're gonna go a little more. It's even pretty much. Which, it's, uh, me not really sounding correctly, but <laughs> I always have to check how many minutes there are. And thankfully I did, because again, that was 20 minutes. We're not gonna let an episode like the prelude being 20 minutes, no. We're gonna keep going for a bit. Hi there. How did you not grab me? I would not know. <laughs> I'll take it though. He didn't grab me. I ask how, but eh, the gun is able to just say no to it. <laughs> oh, this game is silly sometimes. <laughs> Although the candle itself is old, its flame is burning brightly. <laughs> so there are two doors. Let's go to this door first. It's an old dusty suit of armor. You can't seem to see your own face reflected. Suit of armor? That's a mirror! What? <laughs> okay. Aha! Yep, there are Zambas in here. Two of them, actually. There you are. He's not done. Now I know what you're thinking. Why do you run away to most of those enemy fights? Uh, more or less, it's just dependent on which room has what and, you know, as items go. Even to say, like the projector room, I just kill them all because I need concentration. Er, it's logic or whatsoever. It's kind of complicated as most ghosts. So anyways, this is kind of like a hospital. It's a doctor's examination bed. The sheets are stained with blood. There's a document here. First investigation unit notes. We are searching the facilities, and it looks like a lot of the chemicals survived. Fortunately, the storage tanks are still at full. We have just started, heard it, and there is still a lot we don't know, but it appears that the chemicals can be mixed to produce new substances. The chemicals are scattered all, all over the about. All about or all over. Not because of the accident, more a result of plain hey, mismanagement. When we reopen the facilities, we will have to develop a system for dealing with these chemicals. Something is scrolled on the back of the note. Red plus blue is sulfuric acid. Green plus red is stripping agent. Keep these in mind, because I didn't examine it, but a set of tools used to mix and prepare medicines. Yeah, pretty much Rebecca has the mixing set, and this is her attribute. This shelf contains various medical tools and drugs. They're all manufactured her by Umbrella. So these blue herbs, blue herbs, are responsible to healing you from poison. There are some enemies that deal with poison damage. We'll get to those later. We're just gonna ignore these. This here though, looks like some kind of chemical. Put it in the mixing set. You put the green chemical in the mixing set. Now here's the thing. You can use the green. Why? Because doing so will heal your health. I kind of forgot it until like my first playthrough and I was like, oh, you could drink this stuff. Nothing suspicious at all. No, no negative effects and all that. I might as well. Be sure to pick the green chemical setup immediately and save it for later. 
Now we go ahead through this door. Here's some handgun ammo. Over here. Uh, do I have enough room? Yes, I do. We have an ink ribbon, but more importantly, we have napalm rounds. It's a chessboard. The game appears to have ended in checkmate. Hence why this is here. We need to move... Uh, we need to move this next to the rook. Don't move any of the others. It'll just emit poisonous gas. I'll show it in, like, bonus materials. Those after this playthrough. Move the king here. And... We get a book? We get the Book of Evil. Wait, there's something more here. Marcus's Diary 1. December 4th. <clears throat> we finally did it. The new virus. We could we have called it the Progenitor. I want to carry it back so I can start detailed investigations immediately. March 23rd. Spencer says he's going to start a company. Well, I don't care, as long as I can continue my research into Progenitor. He could do what he likes. August 19th. Spencer keeps asking me to be the director of his new training facility. Maybe it's because of the business, but he's becoming intolerably pushy. But maybe I can turn this as to my advantage. I need a special facility to properly explore all of this virus's secrets. A place where no one will get in the way. November the 30th. Damn that Spencer. He came to complain to me again today. He thinks of Progenitor as nothing more than a money-spinning tool. Fool. But if his influence continues to grow, it can only be bad for my research. If I'm to properly develop Progenitor, I must strengthen my own position too. September 19th. At last. I've discovered a way to build a new virus type with Progenitor as a base. Mixing it with leech DNA was a breakthrough I needed. I call this new virus T for Tyrant. The T virus. October the 23rd. It's no good. I can't hope for real progress experimenting on mere rodents. Only humans... Excuse me. Only humans can be a proper mammalian subject for the experiments. Otherwise, I'll never make any real progress. November 15th. Someone seems to suspect something about my experiment, but perhaps it's just my imagination. Well, if anyone does get too close, they may find themselves unexpectedly assisting in my research. Wink, wink. July 13th. January 13th. Why did I say July there? At last, they are ready. My wonderful leeches. Those of low intelligence. They will never have the privilege of tasting this sense of joy and satisfaction. Now, finally, I can move against Spencer. Soon, I will control everything. January 31st. The devices I set to produ uh, protect my work have been disturbed. It appears someone came looking for T and the leeches. Full. No doubt the work of Spencer's group. February 11th. Today, I again found evidence of tampering around the entrance to the lapse. If that is what they're after, I must find a suitable way to deal with them. Perhaps I should have William and Albert smoke out the pests. Those two are the only ones I trust, apart from my beloved leeches, of course. But Spencer... It will. It wouldn't end there, would it? I will announce T at the next director's meeting and collect my just rewards. Marcus's Diary 1. Suspense. I love it. Let me go ahead and open up the Book of Evil. There's something inside. A black wing. A black stone shaped like a wing. It's only one of a pair. That black statue had one wing, but it was missing another wing. 
So, let's head back and get that statue of the other wing, shall we? Follow me. All right, okay. Billy. Let's move on. We can only move or remove the black statue because the white statue, well, the the statue of good is now fully completed. Now we can combine the black wing to the black statue, and we get a statue in the shape of a demon, or the statue of evil. Perfect balancing unity. Secret passage. Nice. Okay. Now where is that GL? There you are. Not what I wanted. Wrong thing, Rebecca. There you go. Can I pick up up the grenade rounds? No. There we go. All right. So now we have the secret passage. However, eh, yeah, this is the good time to end the episode entirely because now that should be about 30 minutes of it. Again, I like to keep my episodes of these kinds of games about 30 minutes or so, no longer than over 50 minutes because, I mean, I don't know, you don't want to see... I mean, if you like over 50 minutes episodes, which I did make that on, on future, on past videos, like... The previous Last of Us 1 and 2, um, Ghost of Tsushima, which, well, so often Ghost of Tsushima was all missions. And all the what's it's and whatnots. But, so, that's gonna be it for this episode. In the next episode, we're gonna go down there and see what's, uh, what's up. And I'll see you guys later in the next episode, so I'll see you guys later. Bye bye